welcome to Gurudeva e-learning class. Children, as you know already, we were discussed about the clothing lesson, right? So, in the previous class, we discussed about the some natural fibers which are obtained from the animal, like, right? So, such as wool and silk. In the previous class, we discussed about only wool children, right? So, this is our time for revise what we discussed in a previous class children. Okay, so children, now I will show you some pictures on your screen. So, can you identify the picture children? Yes. Okay, so which picture are these? Yes, you are right children. So, sweater, muffler, blanket and shawl. Right? So, these are the cloth opened from the wool. Right children? So, when do we use all these cloths children? Yes, you are right children. We use all these cloths at winter season, right? In the winter season, we are wearing this. Right children? Okay children. See, why the peoples are preferring the woolen cloths at winter season children? Yes, you are absolutely right children. Because of the woolen cloths are keep a warm in a winter season. So that's why the peoples are prefer the woolen class at winter season children. Okay. Okay children. Can you identify one more picture? Okay. Which picture is this? Yes. You are right. This is a sari. Right. So if we look this sari it means this is a special sari. Right. I think this is a silk sari. Right children. Yes. You are right. So, this is a silk sari. This silk sari, your mother or his ladies are using in a special occasion. Right? So, this is a silk sari. This silk sari, the peoples are using in a special occasions like marriage function, home ceremony, or as naming ceremony, or as uh, what? Marriage anniversary, or as festivals time. Right, children? So, only this silk sari is wearing at in a special, special occasions. Right? So, do you know how do we get the silk sari? Don't you know, children? Don't worry. That one also we are going to discuss in today's class, children. Okay? Okay, children? So, in today's class, we are going to discuss about the silk. Okay. So, do you know children? How do we get the silk? Don't you know? Okay children. Before going to discuss about the silk threads, let's observe the life cycle of the silkworm children. Because of the best well known silk is produced by the silkworm. Okay. The best well known silk is obtained from the silkworms children. So, that's why we are going to observe the life cycle of the silkworm children. Okay. Okay children, let's observe the life cycle of the silkworm. You are very curious to observe that life cycle, right children? Okay. So, don't waste the time. Shall we start the stages of the silkworm? How do we get the silk thread? Okay. So, children... Have you seen the mulberry bush children or a mulberry plant? Don't you see? Okay, don't worry. So, this is the mulberry plant. Okay, so children, the first stage of this uh, life cycle is egg stage. Okay, so in this stage, the female moth, moth in the sense chitte, it lays many tiny eggs. Okay. The female moth lays many tiny eggs, children. In the second stage, that is caterpillar or as larva stage, children. Okay, have you seen the caterpillar, children? Or as larva or as silkworm? Don't you see? Okay, so this is the silkworm, children. So observe this. A tiny black caterpillar hatches out of its egg, children. Okay, so when the eggs are matured, then it is 
द सिल्क वाम आर एस कैटर पिल्लर कम्स आउट ऑफ दि एग्स चिल्ड्रन सो नेक्स्ट द कैटर पिल्लर ईट्स मलबरी लिवस डे एंड नाइट एंड ग्रोस बिगर एंड बिगर एंड इट ग्रोन इन ए वेल सैज चिल्ड्रन ओके सो नेक्स्ट दे आर् कैप द कैटर पिल्लर्स इन ए बैंबू ट्रेस and nowadays they are kepting in the uh, what uh, plastic trays children but in before they are using the bamboo tray children okay so the caterpillars are kept in a bamboo tray with a freshly chopped mulberry leaves and leaves are kept in the tray also after 30 to 40 days approximately the caterpillar stop eating the leaves okay why it is stopped it means it is started to spins a cocoon of a silk thread around itself children okay have you seen the cocoon don't you see so now you can observe the children this is a cocoon okay cocoons are the main source of the silk thread children okay. we get silk by the cocoons understand so next we move on to the third stage so in this stage what is happening do you know children don't you know okay so the third stage is pupa stage okay in this stage the inside the cocoon the caterpillar changes into a pupa it means inside the cocoon the caterpillar starts developing the organs children okay so now you can observe children now i will shake the cocoons can you hear any sound children yes so this is the pupa stage children here the caterpillar developing the its organs okay it started to developing the organs children okay so shall we check children okay so now i will cut the cocoon okay so observe children so this is the pupa stage see here the caterpillar it already developed is organs right children okay so next we move on to the last stage that is adult stage in this stage matured moth comes out from out of the eggs children whether matured moth comes out of the eggs and fly away okay so later it is fly away okay so now you are all are thinking then how do we get the silk by the cocoons isn't so children cocoons are used to obtain silk threads cocoons are exposed to the sunlight or a steam or a boiled okay the silk fibers get separated this process of getting silk threads from the cocoons to use it as a silk fabric children when the silk thread is separated by the sunlight or a steam or a boiled then it is used it as a silk fabric children okay so when they are started to boiling or a steam or a sunlight when they are kept so then they are started to reeling the silk thread children okay the silk reeling of the silk is carried out by the special machines okay the reeling of the silk thread is doing by the machines children the machines unwind the fibers of silk threads are then converted into silk sari or as silk cloth okay so by the weavers children understand so rearing of a silk worms for the production of silk is called sericulture okay reeling in the sense so when the silk fiber gets separated then they are started to reeling andre sutlikke start maartare okay na so that process is go done by the machines children understand children so rearing of silk worms it means cultivation of this silk worms for the production of silk is called a sericulture children 
understand so when we get the silk threads by that we can by that we are weaving the different types of silk cloth children like sarees shalyas panjais okay like that clothes are comes from the silk thread children understand so i hope you understood the life cycle of the uh, silk worm children is it very interested na yes next we are going to understand the meaning of children, the sericulture children the worm, okay life cycle children yes it is very very beautiful process right yes children so just a small insect is giving a, a beautiful thread right a beautiful finest smoothy shiny thread it is giving right so it is very wonderful process right children okay so now we are going to discuss about the what is the meaning of sericulture what is mean by sericulture children okay just one small insect is giving the silk thread the costliest thread is giving right so this is a very wonderful process and amazing so before that children silk is obtained from the silk worm okay silk is obtained from the silk worm the silk threads are obtained from the cocoon silk threads are obtained from the cocoons right so now you observe the life cycle of the uh, what silk worm right then you understand so what is mean by cocoon how it is uh, going to create by the silk worm right children okay so what is mean by sericulture or sericulture it means rearing of silk worm for the production of silk is called sericulture okay so rearing of silk worm it means cultivation of the silk worm understand cultivation of the silk worm is called as sericulture it means so uh, silk worm galanna andre reshime hulu galanna palane maartakkanta ondu vyavasthege naavu enu tivi sericulture ant heli kaitivi chilla aita so rearing of silk worm for the production of silk is called sericulture okay so after that process last what we are getting the fabric that is very fine smooth and shiny cloth right children so the reeling of the silk threads is woven by the machines so finally we are going to get the silk fabric right children the fabric is a fine smooth and shiny and also this is a very costliest cloth children understand so this cloth if we wear that cloth it means the maintenance of the cloth is also a so much toughest job children understand and one more thing children see the when we kept the cocoons in the sunlight or steam or boiled then we are going to get the silk thread right children the length of this silk thread by the one cocoon is a kilometer okay a kilometer it means 1 kilometer thread a silk a single cocoon is giving to us children understand and also this silk thread is then a that is yarn yarn strong as uh, what metal wire children if we listen this process if we observe this process if we observe or as listen all these points it means then we are going to felt amazing right because of a single insect or a small insect is preparing the silk thread that silk thread is very tough very strong like a metal wire right so this is going to felt as amazingness right children okay so see children in your textbook there is one fact file what is they given in the fact file it means silk is developed in china where it kept secret more than 2000 years okay so more than 2000 years they kept in a secret about the silk 
cloth silk uh, what silk worms cocoons about that all these things they kept in a secret more than two more than 2000 years children later one day a man want to smuggle all the cocoons uh, silk worms to another country on that time someone immediately they find out that and they put it to the death okay who was smuggling that all the things that person was going to what die children okay they put it to the death so this is your fact file children okay so now we are going to discuss about the artificial fiber understand now we are going to discuss about the artificial fiber which are made by the man okay see children see in before only we discussed about the natural fibers obtained from the plant and animals right so now we are going to discuss about the artificial fiber see what it mean by artificial fibers it means the fibers that are used to make fabrics in the laboratory are called artificial fiber see these fibers are we get arrest we discovered in the laboratory children okay by using the different types of chemical we are going to uh, making the threads okay so by the threads we are going to making the different types of cloths like nylon rayon terylene and polyester okay so these are the examples for the artificial fibers the artificial fibers are discovered in a laboratory children okay so in the laboratory they using the different types of chemicals the mixture of the chemicals we are going to get the different fibers okay so by that fibers we are going to get the or as we are going to making the different types of class so those are called the artificial fibers children okay artificial fibers are as artificial cloths okay are as artificial fabrics are the lightweight durable and shiny smooth and fine class children so it is very easy to clean these cloths are very easy to clean compared to the silk cloth okay if you take the artificial fiber and the silk cloth it means so silk cloth is heavier and the artificial fiber are as artificial fabrics are lightweight okay compared to the silk cloth these are the lightweight durable very easy to clean children understand have you seen all these artificial fibers children don't you see okay let's observe this fibers or fabrics okay so this is the nylon cloth this is the rayon cloth and this is terylene and this is polyester see most probably and commonly the polyester cloth we are using in our daily life children okay you can go and ask your mother she will show you the polyester cloth and this artificial fibers are known as synthetic cloth okay this artificial fibers or artificial fabrics are known as a semi synthetic or a synthetic cloth if you take the polyester cloth it means then you are going to understanding the polyester cloth is mix up of the cotton threads and also artificial fiber okay so go and ask your mother she will show you the polyester cloth in your home children children now you can tell me which cloth is very comfortable to you children yes in the summer come means there we are all are preferring the cotton cloth because of it is absorb the body sweatness and allowing to air circulation right in the winter season we wearing the woolen cloths in the rainy season we wearing the what are jerkins raincoats right children so okay what are the cloths we wearing in our daily life that all also depending upon the climatic condition and different seasons children okay so children now i am giving one work to you what is that it means in your surrounding there is a sericulture is there means 
Whereas the cultivation of the silk worm is there means you go and visit once and you okay observe the what are the process are going on and okay so how they are doing that you can go and understand children okay so this is your lesson children so in the next class i will come with a new chapter until you can read the lesson and practice the uh, what artificial fibers meaning of the artificial fibers and meaning of the sericulture okay so have a nice day bye bye